Amen. Greetings once again to all of you who are tuning in. Uh, to those of you who will be tuning in on Facebook or to those of you who will be uh, listening to this sermon later on during the week, we want to extend this uh, uh, word of welcome to each and every one of you. And once again, thank you for giving your time and uh, be able to sit down and be part of this service this morning. To those of you tuning in from other parts of the world, maybe it's uh, early morning for you, uh, whereas for us here in this part of the world, it's uh, nearly 8 p.m. And uh, we want to thank you for giving your time to be part of this service tonight. Will you please close your eyes and bow your heads. Let us pray and thank God for his words that he will be sharing with us. Heavenly Father, we come before you once again. We want to thank you and we want to praise you for all that you have done in the past, what you are going to do now, and the things that you will be doing for us in the future. We want to thank you for your word as well, O oh Lord. Thank you for giving your word in times like this where people are running around to and fro searching for answers. You are always there to give them the answers that they are searching for. And Father, we pray and we ask you, speak your mind and speak your heart to your children, to those who are tuning in now, to those who are tuning in on Tim Link, those who will be tuning in later on on Facebook. Father, we pray for your blessings upon each and everyone, for they have chosen to sit down to listen to your word. I pray for your word. Bless your word, Lord. Give the word in season for everybody that is tuning in right now. Bina wale busar to rani ge bakalong atataka na non rambulan na lubya muni erba ga iyo merba ro ro nga na bugun ino muni bosa. Di bakalong ate kima mito do to ranga bakalong ate katalanga na no muni bosa me luto na kena ngelen dina me baga e dor na bisa un bisa muni baga ro ro ate kena na kalu. Via una no muni tamata me lolo birra muni de de rada ketiko nga na kalu. Kima mi masa na baga bini binaka na do muni chisu na i baga mbulan dina en duan duanga. Amen, 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 amen. It's, it's a joy and a privilege to be able to stand before you once again um, to minister to you the Word of God. Amen. If you have your Bible with you, will you please go with me to the book of Psalms? If you have your Bible with you, Psalms chapter 34. Psalms chapter 34. We will begin from verse 4. It says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Amen. In verse 1 it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul make haste, make, make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear it of it and be glad. Verse 3, O magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. O magnify the Lord with me, let us, mag, um, let us exalt his name together. And in verse 4, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. I will be preaching to you tonight on a topic that goes like this, cry for peace. Cry for peace. Go with me to Psalms 85 as well, if you may, please. Psalms 85. Psalms 85. This is what the Bible says. From verse 4 we will begin from. Psalms 85 from verse 4. Restore us, O God of our salvation, and cause your anger towards us to cease. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, Lord, and grant us your salvation. Verse 8. I will hear what the God what God of the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints. But let them not turn back to folly. Remember what it says in verse 8, I will hear what the Lord, what God of the Lord will speak. He says, for he will speak peace. We are living in such a time where everybody is running to and fro throughout the whole world in searching for this one thing which is really important in our lives 
are like believers and non-believers alike. It says in, in verse 8, I will hear what, what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace. Peace is something that we are searching for. Peace is something that we are crying for. Not just believers, but everybody, beloved, non-believers and believers alike, they are searching for peace. We are running around, we are running to and fro, seeking where we can find peace. Beloved, David says, I will hear what God the Lord will speak. And a woman in a vangarachiko, kwana bagadengu, sangai baka samatoko kwa in doanga na bono, nor nikotomikina na bagadengu. I'm wrong, what the madanga, another with Tuguna no Nongukalo. And a bono to run a camera ram and a ranikotomikina na bagadengu and a kerechikon go. This is the only place where we can get peace. This is the only place where we can find peace. When we come to the Lord and have to listen to what He has to say. In verse 4 of chapter 85, he says, Restore us, O God of our salvation. Which means something has happened to us and he, it has broken us to pieces. We do not know what to do. We do not know where to turn. We do not know who to call to. But we want you to restore us. He said, restore us, O God of our salvation, and cause your anger to uh, anger on us to cease. Your anger towards us to cease. Please put an end to that. Lord, we just ask you, please restore us. Restore us, O God of our salvation, and cause your anger towards us to cease. Please hold on a little bit. Please stop what you are doing right now. God, we want you to intervene. God, we want you to do something. Don't you see what we are going through? Don't you know what we are going through? Don't you see those silent tears that is dropping of our eyes? This is what is happening right now, beloved. The nation is crying out to God. We're asking God, please restore us. This pandemic has broken us. And now they are coming back to God, asking him, Please, restore us, O God, and cause your anger towards us to cease. Verse 5, they are asking him a question. Will you be angry with us forever? And then I said, what you going to do with us forever? I said, what you going to do with us forever? I said, what you going to do with us forever? I said, what you going to do with us forever? I said, what you we are not used to this, to this Lord, but we want you to change us. We want you to restore us. We want you to put a cease on the anger towards us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again? The two words that he used, restore and revive. So not only we are crying for peace, we are crying for restoration. We are crying for revival, beloved. If that is what we do right now, then I will hear what God the Lord will speak. For he will speak peace. He didn't say he will speak restoration. He didn't say he will speak revival. He will speak peace. The reason why it's important to know that we need to cry for peace because when the peace of God falls in us, it will revive us, it will restore us. Mm -hmm. 
Em basu raga na pononi da gavaka, enda tawa sei mai enda boka tambuim enda da gavaka. Em basu raga na riso ko songa ni lotu. Ana ka ya do tsiko ngoto raga ke na marama. Ia ka boka endo na ka menda na boka sanga raga le stalen, da boka sanga raga na boka de ngoni kelo. Bala ta na boka de ngoni kelo ngo na ngau na ngo na so tawa ke na na boka de ngoni kelo. When you know the peace of God, it will restore you, beloved. It will revive you. In verse 4, he said, Restore us, O God, of our salvation. You are once our God of salvation. Please restore us and cause your anger towards us to cease. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again? revival. Gaitu kan orang aku yang gaya kasar mata orang aku yang dua orang pun dua, orang nak rendah rawat tak kira, nak ruang nak kau kerja cikung aku. There is only one place where I can get restoration and revival, and that is if I come to hear what God the Lord will say. Amen. You know when you are running around, beloved, when you are going through problems, when you are going through adversity, when you are going through circumstances that is beyond your control, all you need to do is to go back and listen to what the Word of God will say to you. Because the only thing that God will say to you, He will not talk to you about restoration. He will not talk to you about revival. He will talk to you about His peace. And when you receive his peace, beloved, that peace, the peace of God that surpasses all understandings, that peace will give you restoration that you are craving for. It will give you the revival that you are craving for. It, you, it will give you the joy that you are after. It will give you all that you need, beloved. Ezan in the kana leoni mon manu genda visa titiko. Ebi naga zake menda kana leon menda kana roro chigo menda velo mani chunga me chiko ngana boga zengu nikalo. But there is only one place, beloved, where you can get that peace, and that is if you come to Jesus, if you come to God, because He has the word of peace in Him. He says in verse eight, I will hear what the what God of the Lord will speak, for He will speak peace to His people and to His saints. But this is the thing, when you hear the word of God that speaks peace to you, this is what you must not do. Verse 8, the last sentence of verse 8 says this, But let them not turn back to folly. Esangan itu nampu lagi tu mai kia. Kau kata lini mai bersuki nana mupa kena nanu. Mai bersuki tala nai lomu nana. Bukan ibu ibu orang kau. Bukan puna kena. Molesu. Nasi merah wala nabi bosan ibu ibu kau dengui kau nana solebi kau nak kelu. Mai indai sarah wala kelu. Balat nana bukan ron roy tu kau nak kau bukan nana nabi bosan kau dengui nana bersih singa kedengah. Orang yang ada main, orang yang ada main lebih kandren dre, orang yang bola cinta kan nombor bola, orang yang bola cinta kan mata hubale, orang yang bola cinta kan mungkin nombor pun nanti tak takka. It will never move you. You you will be immovable because there's something has already set foot in your heart, and that is the peace of God. Entah nak kaya sama in dambet di toka ni lom, ya nana nak bagas demu nak kelu. Ni saya tiga nak bagas demu ni kelu, saya tiga nak kaki tengah. When you have peace, you have everything. Amen. You have everything when you have that peace. And then it says in verse 9, Surely his salvation is near to those who fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Now that's what David says. Amen. A psalm, uh, this is the Psalms of the sons of Korah, you know, compiled by David, written by the sons of Korah, but compiled by David. And that's what he has to say. I will hear what God of the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace. And then Jesus came. Before Jesus came into this world, Isaiah the prophet has already pronounced, um, announced, sorry, announced his coming. And one of the name that he mentioned about Jesus is that his name, he will be called the Prince of Peace. Now God the Father talk about peace. He will speak the words of peace. 
Epa ma valta na kalo ni vosa na kalo ya na vosa ngani na na vipa dingui. E sanga ni ndona kai tu vwa na kalo ngo ma mozaki na iko. Sanga ni ndona kai na tu kuna biyo na kalo ya mozaki na. Na kake di me na tu kuna chigo biyo na kalo ya na kamo bi na kaki na. Me bi na kaki na 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 mon roi sema. Me bi na kaki na 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 mon roi biwa kani. Na kato udo ga tu kuna chigo ni na kalo ya na kamo bi na kaki na. Sanga ni ndona kamo mozaki na. Kya biyo ngani ndona tegi ko ya la mani ko. Kya vosa ba ko kobi ko ya kawo tegi ko. Ya sanga ni tukutunga bango na buwasu tu na kalo Masale zunru kina mwana numo kena yuko Na kalo sa zunru biya usara nga bako yuko Sanga ya buwasa tiko wanga ndondonu Bala tini vina kato kwa me transfantaka vayu kwa na nona vwa dhengu Tu ranga keni marama The peace of God that God wants to transfer to you It only comes with his words and nothing else You cannot remove the word of God and receive the peace of God Because they will always go together the word of God brings the peace of God. When you try to separate the word from the peace, it will never work. You will never know what really the peace of God is. Because you have removed the word and tried to receive the peace. And around with that, how can you receive the peace of God if you, if you read the Bible once in a month? It will never work. If you want the peace, you go to the Word. Because God gives the Word that comes with His peace. Amen? Don't remember this, beloved. Remember this. The world also gives you peace. But it's not like the kind of peace that God will give you. Okay, I want to take you to the book of Philippians, beloved, because there's something very important in there. I want to take you to the book of Philippians. If you can please go with me, Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. This is what Paul says. Paul said this in the book of Philippians chapter 4. I just want to read to you from verse 9, which is where the main point is. Okay. In verse 9 it says, The things which you learned and received... And heard and saw in me, he says, do this and the God of peace, the God of peace will be with you. The sons of Korah, they said, I will hear what God the Lord will say, for he will speak peace. Paul said this, the things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, do this and the God of peace will be with you. God, uh, Paul didn't talk about the peace of God. He talks about the God of peace. And this is our problem. We reject the God of peace. We want the peace of God. They will always go together. If you want the peace of God, then you've got to receive the God of peace. You cannot push him aside all the time and try to receive the peace of God. When you push God aside, forget about the peace of God. It will never work. It will never come to you. You will run around. On a didi ke on a tabutu, on a lesu mai, on a didi ne mawi, on a tabutu ne mawi, on a didi ne matau, on a tuburam duwa, on a rai leo, on a rai wuki. Everywhere you turn, searching for this peace, crying out for peace, you will never find it because you reject the God of peace. No vina katachuko na boga zemu ni kalo, and an rakin ren ren imbola nda lago duro machungo iko ngandreba na kalo ni biva dingui. Mazingoma romana na kaloni biba zingu yo sana geroni zingoma na nona baga zingu na kalo. Amen? First you must receive the God of peace. And then you will witness the peace of God. Verse 1, sorry, verse um, 3. Sorry, Philippians 4 verse 4. It says in verse 4, Rejoice in the Lord always again, I will say rejoice. He is saying, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Now, you cannot rejoice if you don't have peace. Okay? The only way, the only thing that will make you rejoice is when you have that peace of God inside you. You can only rejoice in God when you have the peace of God in you. Rejoice in the Lord always. 
Again, I will say, rejoice. Verse 5, let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Let your gentleness be known to all men. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. Verse 7, and the peace of God. The peace of God. He, give you, he gave you the answer first before giving you how to get the answer. Asa ni Rapola, na baka zengu Nikolo. Tuna ramo kana tiki nebi tu. Ia na baka zengu Nikolo. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. He has given you the promise. He has given you the answer. He has given us just exactly what we are searching for right now. And what is that? The peace of God. Everybody wants the peace of God right now. And the bina kata kena na baka zemu ni kolo koe wesi bia na baka kena na kile rao. Na tangi ni mbola baka mata vubali, na tangi ni mbola baka wati, era tangi na lalai, sa senga na dhaka dhaka, sa senga na ilabo, sa senga na kakana, na lenga era laga dhuruma tu na bai mata vubali, na ngaone ni kua. It's unbearable. And na senga ni rao ni na tanga rao na lenga sa laga dhuruma ichi kongo. Na ngaona sa lebu maikina na lenga, nga i senga tale na kolo, ena nga yali sara na baka zemu ni kolo. And the baka sanga rato dogo chuko na baka zengu. We are all crying for peace. We are all searching for peace. You've got to find the God of peace before you receive the peace that surpasses all understanding. Ya na mate ni kama wa kilawa mande liu na kalo ni bi baka zengu. Mo zengu ma mande liu na kalo ni bi baka zengu. O sana ngei rao bi kama baka ndini ndena taka na baka zengu ni kalo. Ya na sanga baka ndua ni ndona tamata tu ranken marama kwa ya li maya na mate ni kwa ya wa maya na mate ni kalo. Me na baka ndini ndina taka na baka zengu ni kalu. Ni ubiwa na kata ma baka ndini ndina taka na baka zengu ni kalu. You've got to move closer to the God of peace. You've got to move closer to the God of peace. If you are far away from God, then you have to make your choice now. Whether you will stay far away from God or you will move closer to God. Because the only way where you can witness the peace of God which surpasses, which surpasses all understanding is for you to come close to God, the God of peace. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. But in verse 8 he said this, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. And then in verse 9, the things which you learn. Now he gave them how to get that peace that surpasses all understanding. In verse 7, he talks about the peace that surpasses all understanding, which will be able to guard their hearts. But he didn't give them how to get that peace that surpasses all understanding. But in verse 9, he then gave them the, the equation, how to get that peace. And this is what he has to say. The things which you learned, the things which you received, the things which you have heard and saw. Nakando sabulida, nakando sa dingoma, nakando sa rongoda, ke nakando sa reida. How many messages from God have you heard in these past days or in these past years leading up to this moment? How many lessons have you been taught? How many sermons have you heard? The main question is this, what have you done about those words? Na zaba manda yiku sambo uza kawa. Membalata na wosu ni kaloto uza kwa yiku sarang oza tiko. The problem with us, we move from church to church trying to listen to the right word. And the waka sanga ngara tiko na vayi soko soko leni lotu. We tune in on one channel, we go on to another channel, we tune on another Facebook live program. And another one, and another one, and another one. We are hearing messages after messages after messages. And as I walk around all the chico, not was in Nicolo. But this is the thing that I want to ask you with this, this afternoon, this evening. What have you done with those words that you have heard? Now, the woman does some of the cover to run a kid in my ramen, and I'm going to wash it because I'm wrong with the chico. What have you done so far? He said that. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, do this and the God of peace will be with you. Now when the God of peace will be with you, 
then you will witness the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. He did it back to front. How will you find that peace that you are searching for? How will you know that God can give you that peace that you are searching for? When you do everything that you have learned, heard, seen, and learned, and, 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 and um, so. Okay. Na kaka de kedi ko samay bulida. Na kaka de kedi ko samay dingoma. Na kaka de kedi ko samay rongoda. Na kaka de kedi ko samay reida tu ranga kena marama. Tu kono chiko polo birtu ya. Na isongo songo ni loto mai Filipa i ko ke de asabinaka. It's good that you have learned. It's good that you have received the message. It's good that you have heard the message. And it's good that you have seen me living up the message that I have spoken to you. Paul didn't just give them the message. He lived the message. O kwa sa ni buno nga beira. En buno taka sa nga beira na bosa ni kalo e buno taka. Nga ito kono kwa beira na kaka de kaya ng dosa bulida. Na kando sa may rungoda. Na kando sa may dingoma. Na kando sa may reida. Tu kono bango kwa ndo baga dherba kakina. En nga ichiko bata kaya kemundo. Na kalo ni bi baga dengui. It's one thing to know the peace of God. It's another thing to know the God of peace. Don't just search for the peace of God. You've got to know the God of peace. You've got to make yourself in acquaintance with the God of peace. You've got to form or connect that relationship with the God of peace. Otherwise, beloved, forget about the peace of God. You, you will never be able to know what the peace of God is when you reject the God of peace. <laughs> The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me. And then he says this, do this. You know, I was talking about this last week. When you go up to heaven, when you stand before God, God will say to you, well heard, well learned. He, did, he will never say to you, well received. Paul said that. Paul said this. The things you, which you learned, God will never say to you, well learned. The things which you received, God will never say to you, well received. Paul said, the things that you have heard, God will never say, well heard. Paul said, the things that you have saw, that you have seen in me, that you saw or have seen in me, God will never say to you on that day, well seen. Do you know what God will say? Well done. That's why after Paul mentioned all those four things, you have learned, you have received, you have heard, you have saw in me. He said, do it. When you do these things, the God of peace will be with you. When the God of peace will be with you, then you will have the peace of God. But it must be done. Well done. Well heard, well explained, well seen, or well saw, or whatever it may be. Well received, well learned. No, he will say, well done. Well done. It's either that one or the other one. Where he will say, I do not know you. Will turn to those people and he will say to them, tie him legs and hands and throw him out. You don't want to hear that, beloved. You want to hear a well done from God. When you stand before God, God will applaud you and say to you, Well done, my son. Well done, my daughter, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your salvation. Live to hear a well done from God. So that one day you will stand before God and the only thing that you will hear from him well done. And I was thinking, being a chef, I was in the military. That's what I did. And when I take orders from people who will ask me to cook their steaks, every order that will come from the front, coming back to the back of the house, it will have its preference how to cook the steak, how they want their steak cooked. It is a well done steak, medium steak, rare and medium rare and I was thinking in order for a steak 
a good beef steak to, to come out with that preference, well done, that steak must endure the flame. And I'm talking about naked flame on the griddle. Okay? When you stand before God, you will be given that word, well done. And in order for you to receive that, that word, well done, from God, you must endure the fire in this life. Amen. And Yes, there will be problems. Yes, there will be troubles. Yes, there will be circumstances, situations, adversities coming left, right, and center. But you've got to remember, in order to hear a well done, you must go through the fire. And a well done. You will turn from one side to the other side. And when the, the people that are watching, when they think that it is, it's okay, the chef will turn it the other way and put it longer in the fire, beloved. You must endure the fire in this life in order for you to hear a well done from God. And the only way you can endure the fire, and that is when you have the peace of God in you. Nisa chiko na boka zemo ni kelo, ena sengani dona kabe ko na boka wanga, ena sengani dona kabe ko na drendre, ena sengani dona kabe ko na tobi mate, ena sengani dona kabe ko na sengani labo, sengani dona kana sengani kakana. You will go through the fire because that is the process where God will put you through, and one day you will stand before God. The only word that you will hear from Him: Well done, good and faithful servant. Well done. Most of the steaks that, that comes right now, in the time that we're living in now, when you go to a restaurant, it comes with some, some kind of sauce. It might come with gravy, red wine sauce, or black pepper sauce, peppercorn sauce, or mushroom sauce, because it has been going through the fire that much, and it's dry. All the juice have been drained out from that piece of meat, and it must accompany a kind of sauce to keep it wet. And tasty and I was thinking when you go through the fire it drains you and the blood of Jesus is there to help you and God's anointing will keep you serviceable in the eyes of the people in the presence of God amen because you've been through the fire then God will pour his anointing over your life and you will be presentable. You will be presentable to the people who are watching you. Amen. And the most important thing when you stand before God, you will hear a oh, well done. Paul said, the things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, do this. And the God of peace will be with you. Amen. The God of peace will be with you. We know when the God of peace is with you every circumstances that you go through you will rejoice in the Lord always mm -hmm. oh because the God of peace is with you amen I like what Paul says in in the book of um, Romans 16 20 talks about the God of peace Romans 16 20 Paul said this and the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly. That is the importance of having the God of peace, beloved. That is the benefit of having the God of peace. We are crying for peace from the time that we are living in now. All we must do is to have the God of peace with us. And that is the recipe or the equation on how to get the God of peace to be with you. Whatever you have learned, received, heard, and saw, do those things. Amen. And the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly. Not only you will have the peace of God when the God of peace is with you, also, the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet. Amen. 
and akavina kakina ni chiko pataki kenda na God of Peace. First Thessalonians chapter five verse twenty three, and again Paul said this: Now may the God of Peace sanctify you. So not only will you, he will he give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. When the God of peace is with you, he will crush Satan under your feet. And the most important thing is what he says in 1 Thessalonians 5.23. And now may the God of peace himself sanctify you. If you want to say that, you will not be able to say that. 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 The God of peace himself, he will never send an angel to do his job for you. He will come himself, the God of peace himself. Will sanctify you completely. Sangat ni bagai cikina ngan, orang nak zaga zaga nalu nak kelongo, ada kau kau tau zaku. Sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body are preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. While we are waiting for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, we must have the God of peace. Because the God of peace, number one, he will give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. Number two, he will cross Satan under your feet. Number three, he will sanctify you completely. Amen? Sanctify you completely. And then it says in Hebrews 13, 20, Now may the God of peace, again the God of peace, now may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Again, the God of peace, beloved. If you are crying for peace right now, sa lebo mbaka nandre nandre sa kato tani kina ya paka ya liya kina paka ndua na paka demu. Ya sanga nga na paka demu ninda laka zuru ma na kande nandre. Ra paka zaba menda na paka demu. Menda paka demu tiko ni sa lala mwena na nambange. Ra paka zaba menda paka demu tiko ni sa ratangi mwena ngoni ni sa sanga na kakana. Ra paka zaba na paka demu tiko ni sa paka demu mwena nonda zaka zaka. How can we have that peace when problems are coming one after another? There's only one way, beloved. You need to find the God of peace. The sons of Korah in Psalm 85, they said this, I will only hear what God the Lord will say, for he will speak peace. Bo zidi mandanga morongo dana bosi likalo zidi ba mandanga na bosi ngoni bata zidi ba mabu noi kona lirongo dana mai kina na bosi nikalo balata ni bosi nakalo we lago bata mai na na bosi dengu nakalo tuni chiko ba ngoni bangu tambo Isaiah twenty six verse three you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you perfect peace. Perfect peace in the midst of the storm. Perfect peace in the midst of your lack. Lacking in food, lacking in finances, lacking in security. Perfect peace. He says, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Because he trusts in you. Na so na nga sa basi ka maya na isaw ni bali. Sa betar tarap yung may nambili. Nangaw na patatal nga. Sa teke po siya po chika ni baka malwa. Na baka diyan ko ni kalo. Sa teke po. Me teke po. Toso take baka lila. Na ton ni betal ano. Baka biwotin. Balata na daba. Sa ayali may nakake dea. Kwa na yung matay ni kandang doon. Menda na numa. Menda lako kinabosin ni kalo. Santang kayo baka yawa. Takasara nga baka ndua. When we go through problems. We choose not to go to church. That is our problem. When we have circumstances that is beyond our control, our power, we choose to deny the word of God. That is our problem. That is the first thing that you turn to when you are going through problems, beloved. Go to the word, because the word comes with his peace. When God speaks, his peace follows after. Amen. God's word will accompany God's peace all the time. Amen. Ni bosan nak kelu, el lagu betul cikgu ini nanan apa kadeng. Ni tak kosong nak kelu, el tak kosong cikgu ini nanan apa kadeng. Ni apa la cikgu nak kelu, el apa la cikgu ini apa tak kena nanan apa kadeng. Nak kata orang orang tak kau nak kelu, el lagu betul cikgu ini nanan apa kadeng. So kau ni yang bilang nak bosan nak kelu, orang orang ni nak mundur endre. Ayah nak mati ni kamu di ziba, ayah nak mati ni bawa mau rai kena, rai dengan nak bosan nak kelu. 
Bala ta makalo e lako chuko maina nona po asa lako pata tal chunga maina nona vi baga de ngui turanga ken marama. John 14, 27, Jesus speaking to the people, his disciples, he says, peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Listen, beloved, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, which means the world can also give you his peace. But Jesus says, the one that I gave you, or that I will give you now, will never be compared to the one that the world gives. Mine is better. And a baga dengu kwa suli ya hurura. E na baga yadza ya zonga. O na baga rana lasa na lasa na suli ya biyuko na baga dengu just for the moment. Some of us thinking when we are having problems or troubles, we think that it's, that it's good, it's okay to drown our sorrows in a bottle of alcohol. E so bikiam da baya, na ngau na ngai lau doro makina na nren nren, besi mandana lotu, lako mandale matendi, lako mandale da kapango, wule ada tuna lotu, na mlotu mosu masu nebe matakani singa tambu. Na mata singa, na kato doko ya, na cell group, saa yali mai, mbala tino lako doro matiku na nren nren. Elevo na tamata nda sota biro, nda saa sangani rei dharba lotu. When we meet them again, we ask them what is the problem. They say, oh we are having a problem. We are going through such a hard time. We have chosen not to come to church. That is our problem. When we go through hard times, we stop going to church. If there's anything that will drive you, that will be your driving force to drive you to church, that will be the problem that you are facing. Nangono lao dhuru makina na nrenre, ya saranga menge mbilingi kwa eni polotu. Ya menge tosoyi kwa eni panapali ni soka lo. Ya menge poka puna mwodin zibo na puna ni poka sangwari pata. Yona lenga nangono nda lao dhuru makina na nrenre, and then we choose to deny God. We choose to walk away from church. The kwani lei bilika na ibola tambo, the kwani lei masu, the komandanga ni lei mata singa sendali cell groups, sendali Bible studies, sendali masu masu. We choose to walk away from all those when we are going through problems. Little did we know that that is the best solution for our problems. Amen. That is the best solution for our problems. Remember what Jesus says. For John 14, 27. Peace, I live with you. I'm, I am the Prince of Peace, according to Isaiah. But now I'm going back to my father. The peace that I came with, I leave that with you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Never walked away from God because God never walked away from you. If God walked away from you, none of us will be alive now. And we will be doing sacrifices after sacrifices after sacrifices. But God chose not to walk away from you. When Adam and Eve fall in the Garden of Eden, right in the beginning, He chooses not to walk away from them. He, he chased them out of the Garden. And He puts the God to guard the, the, the tree of life. And then He makes His plan to bring you back in. So when God never walked away from you, you don't walk away from Him. Be faithful to Him. In times of troubles, run to Him. Go after His words. Read the Bible. Because His words comes with His peace. Let not your heart be troubled, and neither let it be afraid. When you are going through circumstances, beloved, let not your heart be troubled, neither be afraid. John 16, 33. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In me you may have peace. Not in your job, not in your money, not in your career, not in your house, not in your car, not in your status, not in your promotion. In Jesus. In Jesus. In Jesus you will have peace. He said, these things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. You see, that's the difference. You leave Jesus and turn to the world, the world will give you tribulations. You leave the world and turn to Jesus, Jesus will give you peace. But this is our problem. We want the world, we don't want the tribulations. How can you love the world without loving the tribulations that comes with the world? And I say, I'm going to say, 
ndo la mani buruburu chiko ange na numo chiko mondro baka mai na lenga mai buruburu ena shanga baka ndo ni rawo ni na ndro baka na lenga mai buruburu iko mo la mana ngana klo love the lord with all your heart he said these things i've spoken to you that in me you may have peace in the world you will have tribulation but be of good cheer i have overcome the world the god of peace has overcome the world na kaloni bi ba dengo isa ba mulu mulu mteki burura the god of peace the one that is that will sanctify you the one that will cross satan under your feet the one that gives you life the one that gives you the peace that surpasses all understanding he said i have overcome the world so what is your problem beloved if the devil is your problem come to the god of peace the god of peace will cross the devil under your feet if the world is your problem then come to the god of peace because the god of peace have said john 16:33 i have overcome the world what is your problem beloved come to the god of peace he has already done that for you he has already provided a way for you to ranga ken marama ni yali na kelo ena yali talanga na ba demo ni kelo sanga ni rawani da ba tor tu ba ma manda na bulo ni ngara ba ngara na kelo menange na numa men basi ka mai bika na me ba basi ka ta mo ko bika na no no ba demo ni bi na ka ta no no ba demo ba kan jena ta ka na mo bulo ni bi o kan ba tikina kelo be serious with your relationship with god the god of peace temptation will be there beloved believe you me temptations will be na bi ba to bulo ya na basi ka ngam e na la ko ngam mai james 1 2 he says count it all joy when you when you fall into diverse temptation count it all joy when you come across temptations and and i have the mind of it maki and i have the mind and rendre and i have the mind na lenga and i have the mind na bika kedinga but the most important thing is for you to stay with the god of peace paul said do this and the god of peace will be with you amen remember we are alive now to do what god wants us to do because one day you will hear a well done from him how did you live your life how do you live your life now amen live your life so that one day you will hear well done from god amen men dona singa motu da kana mata nikelo men ge tuna bango bi kona kelo ta mata bi naka kandina ko san dine na ka bi danga zur ke na maron no muturana amen well done good and faithful servant enter into the joy of your salvation amen that's what we want to hear that's what i want to hear and i believe that's what you want to hear but as of now how is your relationship with Jesus right now how is it, how is your relationship with the god of peace amen if it's good enough if it's okay for you to have the close relationship with Jesus then if you are saying to me i am okay my relationship with Jesus is good then praise god and god bless you if you say well i am not sure if i die today i may not enter into the kingdom of god because of how i lived my life beloved he said the god of peace said i have overcome the world the god of peace said the devil will cross or he will cross the uh, the devil under your feet the de- the god of peace he says i will give you that peace that surpasses all understanding crying out for peace in the midst of our troubles in the midst of our tribulations there's only one way you've got to know and receive and believe in the god of peace ni chiko na kaloni bi baka dingwe sa roti kanda baba na ka we kanda na baro ngoti ko mai and team link to those of us who are connecting on team link those of you who are watching on facebook maybe later on after this service then you will listen to this sermon you know there's no way we can deny the truth the fact that everybody is stressed right now na tamata tau doko and that's a stress chiko and that's a bidi de gichu na tamata lotu but the kir talanga na sandut santa toto bata tunga na lotu ba karisto kir na lotu matakau santo to bata and that's a bidi de gito doko and that kai chiko ni da lotu ba karisto and that kai chiko ni ngarabona kalu yesanda bidi de gitu rabu dumwa ngarama sanga ni lotu 
na sang ni pokam botona kelo anta zumuang kartal ngana tamata pokam botona kelo na zabana nga e sang ni sebe so na kelo the same jesus hebrews 13 e kachuk bang ona na chisunga the same jesus he is the same yesterday today and forevermore o kwa se sang ni sebe so to ranga ken marama ke o se kwa kwa chuk nga kwa ni boka tiku wende nda ikana be singa samber mai ker malam bale whatever he did in the past he can do it again now amen he is able to do it now. O iko nga mo bisau te kiko. Iko nga mo pakan don donu te kiko. Iko nga mo pakan tun donu te kiko tu ena mati nikelo. Ona ngai rei the kina tu ranga ken marama. Ena bisau pakan dua na bola bola nielum. Ona bakilau iko. Ona pakan zemu nikelo ke wesibia. Na bika kena ngai kele rawa. Amen. You will know that that the peace, the peace that surpasses all knowing things, all understanding. You will witness that peace. While you have the God of peace. Amen. Me chico na kaloni be bagade ngui. Ni sa chico na kaloni be bagade ngui. Ena gaim basi kana bagade ngui ni kalo. When you have the God of peace. Then you will witness the peace of God. Amen. Without the God of peace. There will be no peace of God. Amen. Ena siya nga bagan dua ni rawa. Mo kilao yuko. Nrawa niyo pa kila. Na bagade ngui ni kalo. Kaya baka siya nga ditiko bata keiko na kaloni be bagade ngui. Mau dengar mata mana nak kalau ni bebas dengui? Mereka semua anggar nak sengan ni garap nak kalau jina. Mereka kau ni semua anggar nak garap aja kau nak kalau jina. Okey, dan dah bawa kalau tu bawa dona kalau kau yang nona nola malangi, na buru buru, na kaki desi na kena ke yira rasa tiku kau. Ya na nunggu kalau, ya na nunggu kalau. Kau se sengan ni sebab sah, se kau kau itu kau ngam na singa yang dah dah ikan lebih singa sambar mai. Ya na kalau undur garap aja kau. Ana kalau undur ngarap, mereka kau ni baka puna, nabi kau kaya dengan dalam zuru mutu dan rakyat ni bula dan buru buru ngo, mereka kau ni baka puna, non nomu yali mai, ana isyarat ni kalau ni saya ada mana rendre, di di baki kau sara, nabi nomu le rongat kena nabi bos ni kalau, kau kau tali ni baka beram beram, kau kau tali ni allah kau yara, kau kau tali ni baka nana nuda ke siapa baka nana nusombu, kau kau tali nafika, ni asal dalam zuru mengan rendre, kau cik kau sara kena nabi bos ni kalau. If it means for you to drive, then drive to hear the word of God. Because when God speaks, Psalm 85, He speaks with peace. They crying out for revival. They are crying out for restoration. But then He says, I will just listen to what God the Lord will say. Because He will speak peace to His people. Na kanga ya ono baronga da na kanga ya ono didiba ono didiba ngana bosa nikelo. If the God of peace is also the Word of God, John one one in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. So He is not only the Prince of Peace, He is the Peace. Amen. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the only one. Amen. So you've got to come to Him. You've got to receive him. Give him your life today and receive the peace that surpasses all understanding. If you are going through problems, I don't have all the answers for you, but I have one who has all the answers for you. I know one who has all the answers for you. His name is Jesus Christ. Mebakat tangan orang itu rangan cisu. Esok kaya ni losu tak kau cisu. Aku bukan bota ni bulat tiga orang itu rangan cisu. Kau esok kau kau tiga orang itu singa sawat yang day day kau nabi singa sambar mai. He never changes. He is still the same, and he will always be the same God. He will always be the same Jesus. Amen. If you are crying out for peace, try and find and receive the God of peace. Then you will have the peace of God in your life. Will you please close your eyes and bow your heads? I just want to pray for you at this time. You know, if you haven't received Jesus in your heart yet, beloved, you can always pray and ask Him to come into your life to be your Lord and your Savior. Amen. He is more than willing to come in, He is more than willing to help you, He is more than willing to give you that peace that surpasses all understanding. God is able, beloved. God is able. Nothing is impossible with God. It doesn't matter how far you are away from God. It's just take a moment 
to return, repent, and turn to Jesus, He will be able to forgive you, cleanse you from all unrighteousness, and give you that new life. And you will have that peace that surpasses all understanding. If you are crying out for peace, please go to the Word of God. Read the Word of God. Listen to the Word of God. It comes with peace, beloved. David says, the sons of Korah said this in Psalms 85. In verse 8, I will listen to what God the Lord will say. For he will speak people and salvation. Speak peace and salvation to his people. Amen. He will speak peace and salvation to his people. So please close your eyes and bow your heads. Just repeat this simple prayer of repentance with me. Asking him to come into our lives and be our Lord and our Savior. You will witness the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. And after that, I will pray for you and that will be the end of our service tonight. So please just repeat this simple prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you for reminding me that in order to find peace, I have to find you. I welcome you into my heart to be my Lord and be my Savior. I confess, I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are the Son of God, the Prince of Peace. I give my life to you. Come and be my Lord and be my Savior. Take me as I am. I receive you into my heart and I receive eternal life. And thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding. I receive it in your name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you once again. We just want to thank you for your word. Thank you for reminding us. Thank you for encouraging us. The only thing that we want to hear from you is a well done.
ana kabuni sengani kwa tamangu bi nawa ale bona beka kede kime mina sengani ngula dama be basu kali stinga be kemni na lange lange kena rokobi na bosu bi nawa takime nomuni ndondo tiko nga kema mi masu na baba bi nakana dama ni chisu ne mami toranga kai boga mbolo talentina en domba nga amen nomuni lola male bona kalona na muni ala tambara ndono be tumberi boni kan ndono mi tiko tani kime mi ndai kana be singa kada ni mbolo ni kelas abo meka kuasa rangani mondo amen amen